you, Tammy. Oh my goodness, how are you? Congratulations to Jimmy for two deals. I can't hear anything. Uh oh. There we are. Oh, hey, I was saying congratulations. You got a second deal right away. New yeah. build. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Was that off your TikTok? No, no, it's a military connection. Sure. Good on you. I'm so excited for you. That's fantastic. I love it. What a way to start the meeting. All right. Congrats, Jim. That's so cool. Great job for Rick, for Jimmy. Yay. He's been out there working it. I can see him. He's becoming a social media master. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, um, uh, what do you guys, what do you guys think? Can we have some fun today? I know I always ask and you always say yes. So um, I'm going to keep asking though. I'm not, I'm not about to force any fun on anybody. If you don't want to partake in a good time, then by all means, we'll um, stick around. It probably won't be fun for long. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, we are going to, um, we're, we are like 1201. So naturally everybody is just chiming in um, to start the day. We've got a few things to, um, to really dive into together today. Um, we're going to um, take a look at some of the, some of the tools, some of the training, some of the value offerings um, for the office to bring to your business, right? So we're going to, we're going to dive deeper on how you can use your affiliation with Keller Williams Park Meadows to increase and enhance your business. So, um, so would that be okay if we tackled some of those pieces today? Um, yes. All right. I love it. You know, what I find is oftentimes um, um, when we when we have this conversation, what will happen is somebody will will learn that there's actually a tool that they've been looking for for their business that they wanted, needed um, um, that that we offer um, and they just didn't know it. And uh, and so this today is the day where you're going to learn about that for your business. It's going to be amazing. We're going to we're going to connect you with the resources you need to take your business to the next level. Um, before we uh, before we dive into that, we've got a very special event coming up um, in just a, a couple of short weeks. I think we're um, three weeks from today ish. Three weeks from tomorrow is Red Day, so we're going to um, dive in. The two weeks or three weeks? How far behind am I? One, two, three. Yeah, we're coming up close. Okay. Um, red day. So we're going to we're going to tackle red day. We've got um, um, we've got some Q and A. We're going to do um, an overview of of our red day event. How you can prepare for it. We've got tools. We've got um, um, all of the the marketing and the resources. Um, before we before we do this though, um, let me see let me see if I can find it here. Um, you guys may or may not have remembered that one time where I graduated from opening the team meetings with our Keller Williams value proposition. Anybody other than me? Um, I've got it like framed on my wall. I got a certificate and everything. I didn't, um, they don't have a certificate for that, but maybe we should make one. Um, and, you know, Amy's been working really hard on her presentation of our Keller Williams value proposition. Um, but in the spirit of having fun, and, and this is really a team meeting where we're going to be, um, we're going to be talking and sharing a lot. I thought maybe we'd take a quick break from all of the talking and sharing. And let's see, let's see how, let's see how you guys do. 
with our Keller Williams value proposition. Now for the last several months, every single team meeting we've been, we've been starting with who we are. Remember it's our mission, our vision, our values, our beliefs, and our perspectives. I see some new, um, some new faces, some new names on the zoom. So, so there's definitely going to be some folks here who aren't as familiar with this. Um, so what I think we might do, let me try this. Um, let me see. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull this up really quick. Amy. Where's Amy? There's I'm right Amy. here. All right. Amy, how about this? We're going to do, I, I want you to do a really quick run through of our MVVBP right? Just as a reminder, an overview for our folks. Can everybody see that at home? Yep. Cool. Um, let's do a really quick run through, like just a couple of minutes, um, fly through this, and then we're going to turn it over and we're going to give these guys a chance to win some incredible swag and KW prizes by answering some questions about this on their own. Cool. What do you think? Do you guys like swag and prizes? What do like I have? Doesn't. I have um, I have all kinds of fun stuff. I have um, I have T-shirts. I have KW bags. I have Starbucks gift cards. I have uh, I have um, Keller Inc. books. So um, the millionaire real estate agent and the one thing and and some of those fun things. So I've got some swag and some prizes for everybody. Um, um, so well, Amy, let's do this. All right. So we start with our mission to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. Our vision is to be the real estate company of choice for agents and their customers. Our values are God, family, then business. Our beliefs are Win-win or no deal, integrity, do the right thing. Customers always come first. Uh, commitment in all things, communication, seek first to understand. Creativity, ideas before results. Teamwork, together everyone achieves more. Trust starts with honesty. Equity, opportunities for all. And success results through people. And our perspective is to be a technology company that provides the real estate platform that our agents, buyers, and sellers prefer. Keller Williams thinks like a top producer, acts like a trainer consultant, and focuses all its activities on service, productivity, and profitability. Well done. And I, I hope everybody was taking notes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Pull out your cell phones. You're going to need your cell phone for this. Okay. You're going to need your cell phone for this. So pull out your, your cellular device. If you are zooming on your cellular device, um, it is okay. You can, you can keep zooming. I will say some, some things out loud to help you get started, but it's going to be a little more challenging. Um, um, do, do, do. Here we go, guys. All right. What I want you to do is, oh, I love that it's got this cute little song that goes along with it. It's like Super Mario music. Um, we're going to play a game. So you can scan that little QR code up there, or you can go to the website Kahoot. That's K H O. K A H O O T dot I T, Kahoot dot it. Um, so K-A-H-O-O-T dot I-T. And you're going to put in this pin 582-2301. You're going to put in this pin 582-2301. And then once you have, once you have gotten in here, you're going to be asked to put your name or your nickname in there whatever you like, just so long as you know it's you. I'm the you know 582. 
<laughs> you know what's funny is when you said to pull out your phones, a part of me was like, man, I haven't played Kahoot in so long. And then we're doing Kahoot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to give it just another second for, for everybody to kind of join in. Um, if, if you are having a challenge with this, then um, um, let us know. We'll circle around. We'll help you out. Wonder Realtor. I love it. You guys are awesome. There's Jimmy. <laughs> I put the pen in there. So my name was 582-2301. All right, guys, we're going to give it about five more seconds. If you if you are not in, go ahead and raise your hand. Pick yourself off mute. Y'all stop. We're going to start the game. This is a quick and easy game. It's all about some KW stuff. Some of the things we just covered. Some of the things we didn't just cover, they're going to be a little more challenging. And some of you may feel like, oh, I've done this before. Nope, I changed it up. Don't worry. We've got some new questions in here. Okay. We practiced this the other day with, with uh, some of your leadership team. All right, guys, let's dive in. Hmm. Which one of these is not one of the C's in the Y4C2Ts? Is not one of the C's. Five seconds left, get your answer in. how do we do? All right, hey, a lot of you got it right. Collaboration is not one of the C's. For those of you who thought creativity was not one of the C's, it is, it is. Creativity ideas before results. So awesome, good job. Let's see what we've got next. Hey, look at that. We've got a leaderboard. Good job, Ricky. I sure am glad to see you on the top of this one. Not gonna mention how you did on the practice round. Really? Seriously? <laughs> All right. Next question, guys. True or false? The P in the MVVBP stands for perspective. The P in the MVVBP stands for perspective. Five seconds left. True or false? This is true. Mission, vision, values, beliefs, and perspective. All right. Moving on. Look at that. Good job, guys. The title of Gary Keller's podcast is Five seconds, final answer's in. All right, hey, if you said think like a CEO, then you were right on that one. Think like a CEO. Jimmy's on fire. All right, let's see here. True or false again. Top titles like MREA and The One Thing can be found on kellerbooks.com or false. Oh, you guys were fast on this one. Oh, it was false. I, I know. I dropped this Easter egg too. I, I mentioned it at the top of the call. You can actually go to Keller Inc. Keller Inc.com to find those top real estate titles. Keller Inc. All right. Ooh, we've got some movement there in the leaderboard. <laughs> Here comes Tammy. All right, guys. Where we take the day away from our business and give where we live. What do we call that? <laughs> Every Thursday. Be. 
depends on what your business looks like. If you said red day, then you were right. Red day coming up where we take the day away from our business and give where we live. Awesome. Woo. Oh, Gwen. Gwen's got the fire now. Go, Gwen. God, family, then business. What is this? Oh. Sounds familiar. You just, you just do this. I Our think valley. I want to change my answer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm really glad that no one said this was our tagline, though. At least we <laughs> have the two best guesses going on. But this is our, our values. Our vision is to be the real estate company of choice for our agents and their buyers and sellers, right? But our values. All right. Home stretch, guys. Last three. MREA stands for. Five seconds. Anna, can you read it? Because Sheena can't see it. MREA stands for. Yeah, stands for millionaire real estate agent. It's too, too, oh, nobody chose my favorite answer of those, which was make real estate awesome, obviously. Yeah, millionaire real estate agent. I'm not going to comment on that. It's fine. I just. The leaderboard changed. Did you see that? I sure did. You know, I know you're trying to talk, hon, and it is. Um, I am not. I am not hearing you. I think. I think your connection might be a little bit spotty there. Um, let's see. Here we go. What are the four pillars of KW culture? What are the four pillars? What are the four pillars of KW culture? I don't know. Got that wrong. Hey, but most of you got it right. That was a tough one because we really don't actually talk about this all in one spot in very many places at all. So I love that. It's the six personal perspectives, the mission, vision, values, beliefs, and perspectives, the why four C2Ts and culture in action. All right. Here we go. True or false. The focusing question is, what's the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else becomes easier or clearer? The one thing I can do, such that by doing it, everything else becomes easier or clearer. Oh, this is too stressful. It becomes that was tricky. Easier, easier or unnecessary. That was a that was a tough one. Yeah. Focusing question becomes easier or unnecessary. So that was false. Man. Okay. I need some swag. Last one. Which one of these is not one of the C's in the Y4C2Ts? It is not one of the C's. Customers always come first. Commitment in all things. Creativity, ideas before results. Or success, results through others or results through people. I tried. Good show of this, guys. Y'all did awesome. You're so nervous. Who did the most awesome? Let's see. Gwen, number three. Ricky in second place. And number one, first place. Tammy. 
Tammy! I was studying. Awesome job, you guys. Awesome job. So, um, um, Tammy, you want a t-shirt? I love t-shirts. I don't physically have it in my possession yet, but next time I see you, I will have a buy dirt shirt. Yes, please. I'm a total KW nerd with the t-shirts. I'm like, please. I love, it. I love it. Ricky and Gwen, I have KW swag for you too. Stop by next time you're in the office. I'm going to donate mine to Jimmy. What? He said he needed some swag and I got two offices full of swag. So that's awesome. I just didn't want to finish this on the bottom. That was it. That was all. I'm very pleased that you didn't finish on the bottom this time. I tried to text them to get them to not do an answer. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding, Ricky. I'm just kidding, Ricky. Don't take it away. <laughs> All right. To those of you who are at home on your phone, doing the, doing the team meeting from your phone, um, um, we had some unexpected logistical challenges. This is the first time we've done this. And, and so I'm so sorry. I know that that meant you probably didn't have the best um, quiz experience. Um, we will give you some advanced warning when we're going to do this again. Um, so that, so that we can, um, hopefully give you a two screen situation, because I really think you, you probably need that to be able to, um, to be able to do this guy. Um, um, but thank you all for playing all out. That was a lot of fun. All right. Let's see, um, that day, that day where we take away from our business and we give where we live, we call that red day and it is coming up soon. Amy, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Um, let's talk about red day for, for a few. Wonderful, well, so um, you guys all know that we're partnered with There With Care. Um, and so I wanna make sure that you guys know we have a folder in kwpmresources.com uh, labeled red day. And the um, um, folder has your social posts. It has QR codes. Um, we have an Amazon wish list, which you can just send to your people. Um, and so uh, there's all your goodies are in there. Um, there's also a flyer or poster, or whatever you want to call it, um, that has the list or it shows the list of, of items that we are collecting and working on. Um, so feel free to pop into that folder. Um, the link is also on our Facebook page or in our Facebook group. Um, I can send it out via email if you guys would like to have that as well. But kwpmresources.com, you will find all of your red day stuff in there. And we are going to have, we are going to to get those out other ways as well. You can go there. You can go. Um, you can check them out on the Facebook page. You can, you can grab those resources. Um, I want to hear from from you guys who have already started putting your red day plans into action. What are you guys doing? How are you? How are you connecting with your sphere? How have you? How have you turned this upcoming event into something? Um, um, into something that connects with people for your business. I'll go. I'm doing a neighborhood newsletter. I do this every quarter to my farm and I'm including it in the newsletter as part of a feature topic. And I make sure that I included as much as I could that fit in there, which was really like the text to give and then the link to go in directly. Um, and then I'm part of their Facebook page too. And so I was going to put the QR code in the Facebook page. Nice. I love that. I love that. Um, anybody else ever do um, any sort of um, goods drive before in your sphere or with your people? Um, cereal, food, coats, anything like that? I think there's a big opportunity here to be able to connect with your sphere and do that type of goods drive too, right? So um, um, 
um, whether it's like a physical neighborhood that you're canvassing and you're going door to door, whether it's, it's, you know, your farm area, whether you want to send this out to your sphere via pop buys, um, um, or to, to be able to pick these up like a pop buy, right. Where, where you're setting a time or date where you're going around to, to pick up physical goods. Um, I love the idea of being able to, you know, really, um, um, create that, that, presence and that awareness and everything through through your social media channels to driving the donations as well. Um, cool. Well, keep us posted as you guys are making your red day plans, um, hit the Facebook page and share a little bit more about what you're, what you're doing and how you're getting people involved and, and how you're utilizing this inside of your business. Um, because, um, together we'll all be able to make this a huge event. And so your good idea might be just the thing somebody else needs to take their, to take their idea and push it over the top. So, um, I love that. Love that. Yep, Tammy, they shared it. I think we might even have some paper bags um, in back still. I know we we did at some point in the office. So maybe we'll look and see if that's something that we have. And if so, we'd be happy to um, to share those with anybody who is um, going to be doing a physical, you know, door drop or door knock for the goods drive. Uh, cool. All right. Let's uh, let's dive into some value proposition pieces here. Dun, dun, dun. Um, we've got I've got a few things like slideshowy that we can we can look at, but I I'm also looking for this to be a collaborative conversation, right? As we are discussing some of the tools and resources in the office, if this is something that you're like, ooh. I do this or I use this or I take advantage of this at any sort of level. Chime in. I want to hear about your experience. I've also got like a massive list of things that didn't make it probably onto my slideshow that I want to make sure that um, that we're that we're touching on. Right. Um, so let's let's dive in a little bit to some of the tools and resources from your office. Um, the first one I want to I want to start with is our agent launch program. Um, you guys are probably familiar with our productivity coaching program and the, the resources that we have for agents. Um, we are working really hard to pump this full of resources. And in fact, we've got um, right after the team meeting today, we've got um, um, uh, some more announcements and overviews of um, some of the some of the new value tools that we're adding to the business launch program. But so in a in a nutshell, high level overview, this is this is what it covers. Right. So our business launch program is um, 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 automatic for agents. their very first year in the business. And then um, you're able to opt into continuing inside of the program um, after that on an annual basis, right? Um, it includes new agent coaching. Now, this, this new agent coaching, what we're doing is we're, we're looking at this to have coaching that's really specific to where you're at in your business. So this might be launching your business coaching, um, which, is, which is more foundational and checklist activities. This might be goal setting and, and um, lead generation focused coaching. This might really be productivity specific coaching. And so, um, so we're, we're looking at uh, making sure that you have the right level of coaching and guidance for where you're at in your business. Um, you'll also be paired with a new agent advisor for at least your four first four transactions. Your advisor is your contractual partner who's helping you with the with the with everything inside of the transaction from contract review to make sure that you're submitting great offers um, or receiving great offers if it's your listing um, um, to strategy all the way to the logistics of okay I am um, um, I am at appraisal or inspection like what happens next. 
next. Um, Ricky, now you are um, you are um, um, our original agent advisor. We've since added a handful more agent advisors to our program. But tell me a little bit about how this how this works and how you're working with agents through the contractual process. Um, well, it's basically just like you said, when anyone's ready to write a contract or when you're under contract and you've got to write uh, inspection objection or inspection resolution on the listing, whatever it is, um, agents write them, they send them to me, I go through them, help them out, give them ideas on what to do, give them things that uh, I know will keep them out of trouble with Donna um, and just sort of, you know, it's, new agents are drinking from a fire hose, right? And I just try to at least simplify the transaction process itself, right? And then, okay, yay, we're under contract. Now what, right? right. Like, what do we do now? I remember back when I was a new agent, that was a, a hole for me was, yay, I got my listing under contract. Now I have no idea what I do, right? And I don't, and I don't want new agents to have to stumble through that. So honestly, it's sort of the difference between teaching and coaching. Right. The advisor role is a lot of advisor, advisory and teaching. Um, and then, you know, coaching is more leading agents down the road to self-discovery. So whenever you got whenever you've got um, contract questions or the process or transaction questions, you call your advisor. It's pretty cool. And, if, and I've helped. I'm trying. There's a handful of people on here that I've helped. I looked at some stuff for Heather Clark the other day. I've helped Jimmy out. Um, Kathy's been to a couple of our masterminds, you know, so it's um, kind of whatever you need to learn once that has anything to do with the specific transaction. Love that. Love that. And, you know, and we're partnering this with a brand new platform that we're going to be launching. Those who are already in our productivity community, um, you're going to get a, a sneak peek of that right after the team meeting. But we're launching a brand new Rockstar Agent platform, which is a training and coaching platform um, um, that we're going to be um, um, working with in partnership um, with our, our in-office support, right, with Amy running through, running through everything that it takes to launch your business to our advisor program. Um, um, and even some of the big, um, um, some of the events that we've got coming up to help you kind of learn to the skills of lead generation and to grow your business. So we're really excited about that. You guys are going to have the opportunity to take a peek at that here, um, right after the team meeting. Um, but so all of this is included in our, um, um, for our agents who are launching their business, right? So in that agent launch program, um, but that layers on top of all of the training and other resources that the office is bringing you. And so this is just a really quick bullet point of some of the things that are coming up and some of the things that could be and should be on your calendar going forward, right? Um, um, Donna teaches her contract series uh, every Monday at noon. Um, Donna, I talk to a lot of real estate agents and I can't tell you how unique this is. I agree. That, I agree mm -hmm. because I talk to a lot of agents also. And, um, what I find is, is that they may have taken a class, but they don't go into the in-depth, uh, situation that we do. And I think that's why we have such good contract writers in our office. I really do. Yeah. So thanks everybody for coming. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I think that's, that is awesome. We've got, um, you know, a foundational training course called Ignite. Ignite um, is, is all of the things that you thought you were going to learn in real estate school didn't, right? And so much more than that. Really what it is, is it's the foundation of the habits you need to be successful in this industry. And then we throw a little bit of here's how you work with a buyer and seller in there as well, right? Um, 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 but it's, it's much more about those, those foundational habits. So um, we have Ignite coming up. Um, uh, our next in-person live launch will be in June. Um, the Ignite program has just undergone a facelift from KWRI. Um, and so we are going to be bringing the new improved version on uh, June 6th when we launch Ignite next. So the entire month of June will be Ignite. You'll be able to dive into that. 
Um, um, it will be partnered with um, um, a productivity specific environment and all of our agents will be invited to join um, some of the guided lead generation sessions that are going to partner with Ignite and that. So definitely something to take a look at too. Um, um, next week, um, we have a very special program starting called 36123. Um, um, and, and I'm, um, I, we're going to, we're going to add some layers to this 36123 is starting next week. This is all about lead generation and what it stands for is 36 transactions in 12 months with three hours of lead generation a day, right? 36123. So we're going through this together starting next week as a group, four sessions a week will be training where we're learning, diving deeper into those lead generation um, into those lead generation tactics um, and where we are we are learning from the best of the best in the business. Uh, we're also partnering this with a little bit of accountability and some habit building. So every morning, um, Tuesday through Friday, we'll have a lead generation session in the market center. These are guided lead generation sessions. Um, if you need the guidance, right? If you know what you're doing and you just want the collaborative environment that come on in, we want to have have you here. Um, but if you don't know what you're doing, but want to make money, then come in and we'll help you do that, right? Because lead generation is all about that piece. Um, and so what we'll be doing is we'll be taking the training, the learning that we're getting in the 36123 program. And whatever we learned the day before, we're going to be practicing that the next morning um, um, together in, in that group collaborative environment. So definitely make sure you're there for 36123. This is free. This is included inside of the market center. Um, you can drop in when you need to. If there's a session you really want to grab or like you can do Tuesdays and Thursdays, awesome, do that. You'll get the most benefit when you can be here in person four days a week for it though, right? So every session. So put it on your calendar. It's already on the training calendar. Um, if you throw your name in the chat, I will send you a calendar invite as well. So throw your name in the chat uh, for a calendar invite. If there's a session that you might not be able to make in person, let me know. I will send you a, um, a virtual invite for that session as well. Okay. Otherwise, be here in person for every session that you can. Um, um, our team meetings. Can I tell you that um, um, I'm often surprised um, um, with who is in the team meetings and who is not now? Here's something that you need to know, right? You can stream these team meetings. They're on our Facebook Live. So you can watch them. You can be a voyeur. The downside of watching them live on Facebook Live is we don't get to do this, right? We don't get the interaction. Um, um, and if you have a question or something like that, it might be a while before we actually see that and answer it. But if you're right here on the Zoom, we can we can answer that question live. We also record them and oftentimes they are going to be recorded and then loaded to our YouTube page. This is the next item of value up for grabs. Who knows we have a YouTube page? Oh, good. A few of your hands. Awesome. Amy, will you throw the link in the chat to it? I, I think we have some sort of fun vanity URL for it, but maybe we need one if we don't. Um, we don't. We have to, we don't have enough subscribers yet. We have to have more, we have to have a hundred subscribers. Yeah, I, I see a different logistical way that that can happen, that we can get a vanity URL, like we buy a URL, like <laughs> AW Park Meadows training and we just forward our YouTube to it or something like that. Maybe, that. maybe that's a thing we could do. Um, at any rate, we have a YouTube page. Um, you can, if you're on YouTube, right, and you search for KW Park Meadows, you're going to find us. That's how I find us when I go to find our YouTube cha channel. So you're going to find us there. Um, the vast majority of the trainings and events that we do, um, particularly when they're on Zoom, um, get uploaded to the YouTube channel. So it's a great resource. I know Donna's contracts classes are there. Um, um, so that it's a great resource, even if it's just for that. Oftentimes our team meetings are there um, when, we're, when we're on Zoom like this. So, um, so that's a, a good one to go to. Here's what we've got coming up 
for team meetings. Uh, we've got a very special session coming up next week. Um, it will be one of the 36-12-3 sessions um, with our partners um, and Rockstar Agent, which is the training and coaching platform that we're we're launching today. I'm super excited about that. Um, um, so so um, so we have a special session next week, all about the difference between um, effort versus skill. And, and, and what those mean in your business. So we're going to be doing that live on Tuesday afternoon in the 36-12-3 classroom. Um, but then we're going to be replaying that session during the team meeting on Wednesday um, and having a, a discussion around it as well. So catch it one or the other place next week, right? You're going to catch it. You're going to catch it on Tuesday or on Wednesday. That's what we're going to do. Um, and then the following week, we're getting ready for, um, for Red Day. And we are going to be um, um, celebrating our accomplishments. We're going to be in person on May 11th uh, for the team meeting. Um, and then the following week, we have um, some special guests from MAPS Coaching bringing us a session on um, work-life balance and how to manage the overwhelm. Um, I don't know if anybody else just finds like the spring selling season to be a little overwhelming at times. Um, it, we thought this might be a, a nice touch as we're as we're looking to looking to stay in balance um, um, through the busier time of the year. Um, so we've got that coming on the 18th, and then we're going to be doing a value session just like this on the 25th. Except for we're going to be diving into big picture KWRI and some of the tools that they have, and some of the um, some of the the segments to bring you additional value. Here's something I hear often, and I, I just want to make sure I want to get like, you know, eye contact with you guys so you can really hear me on this. Um, none of what I'm doing today is a sales pitch. I really need you to hear me. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, um, I, I, I don't have a quota to hit. Right. There is no like special bonus Anna gets when people come to the team meeting. Right. That doesn't happen. Um, here's what does happen, though. You may be introduced to a new tool, a new training, a new concept that might move your business forward. And this is one of the vehicles we have to communicate that value to you. Right. Um, inside of the Keller Williams universe, there is so much. It is literally my full-time job to bring that to you, right? I mean, there is so much. So this is just one of the tools. So when you hear me um, mentioning a class that we've got coming up or a lead generation program in the market center, or um, like we're going to talk next about some of the regional and national training events that, that we're bringing, um, it's not because like, because I have a hidden agenda. It is literally because you might be in a place in your business where that is really valuable to you and hearing my voice communicate that to you is the way it get, makes it on your calendar. So I want to make sure that I'm covering those bases here. Now, sometimes I'm going to introduce something to you that might have a cost involved with it. Well, you're going to sit down with, with me or, you know, with Donna or Amy or somebody like that. If you have a question about whether or not that's going to be a valuable um, in your business, there needs to be a return on that, your investment. Um, we're about to talk about a class called List Like a Boss in a couple of weeks, which is all about... Um, earning more listings in this in this um, environment. There's an $89 price tag to list like a boss. If that's not where you're at in your business right now, and it doesn't make sense for you to be in that room, I don't want you to buy a ticket. Okay. So now let's go over to, to the second column on this, which is some of the regional trainings that we have. Um, sometimes the regional trainings that we bring to the marketplace are geared towards a, an agent at a specific place in their business. For instance, the last two days, we've been in a training called the Leverage Series all about how we succeed through bringing other people into our organization. If you aren't or weren't at a place where bringing people into your organization is, is what you're doing right now, like hiring an administrative assistant or a buyer's agent or anything like that, then that probably wasn't the class for you, right? Um, um, phenomenal business course available to everybody, 
it was $399, right? So it was, it was a higher level business course and not for everybody. You need to be at that place to have that return on investment. So in May, uh, local mega agent, Brendan Bartik is going to be teaching his listing system at the Summit Event Center on May 17th. Tickets for this event are 89-ish dollars. Um, it will very likely be worth every penny of that if you are looking to make take more listings. And yet, if you go to that class on Tuesday, May 17th, and you're not in a place where you're going to implement any of those things into your business, then please don't go. Yet I want you to go. I think it's going to be really valuable. That's why I'm telling you about it here. You can find out more about those regional events at kwcoloradoevents.com. Um, they get released uh, periodically. Obviously, we're going to bring them to you here um, um, on venues like this. Also, um, um, in August, we have Mega Agent Camp coming. Um, Mega Agent Camp is a couple of days in Austin, Texas, where you are literally going to get to peek behind the curtains of several mega agent real estate businesses. Um, Gary Keller will interview them on stage and you will get to learn all of the things that they're doing inside of their business and what makes them, um, what makes them huge. Um, benefits to these types of events are the networking opportunities. There will be probably about 10,000 agents there for two days in August. So if those are things that sound like they might be a good fit for you and where you're at in your business, um, then look into Mega Agent Camp. And that is, um, um, I think it's megacamp.kw.com. Okay. Um, questions really quick on like training um, and, and resources around training. Well, let me go here. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about resources really quick. Um, we have a couple of those vanity URLs that I was just talking about that I love so much because they make it really easy to remember things. Um, one of those is kwpmresources.com. This is like where you find all the stuff, right? Um, one of the most frequently asked questions we get is um, um, people ask for our W-9 all the time. If you're doing a new build or you're sending a referral across state lines or just from office to office, right? You need the office W-9. They're going to ask you for it and you're not going to know where to find it. It's right here. It's right here on, on resources. Um, all of the red day information is there on resources. Um, um, all of those pieces are, are right there and available for you. So you can hop in um, um, to um, kwpmresources.com. Um, thank you, Amy. I see you put the link in there. That makes it so easy. Um, KWPM needs. Um, KWPM needs um, um, started off being a place where we could share our buyer and seller needs. Um, you know, we're, we're finding a lot of, of venues to be able to do that, but I think most importantly right now, it, our Facebook page becomes the venue for that, uh, for buyer and seller needs, um, and, and where... Um, where our agents are, are coming together to, to connect on those pieces. But the, the piece that um, I think is, is still probably um, still, still um, widely used on that page, KWPM needs, is the showing assistant tab. So there's two reasons why that might be important to you. The first is um, every now and again, you're a human being and you might want to take a day off of work or go on vacation or get sick or do one of those things that human beings do. And you may need somebody to show a property for you. You have a lot of resources just in the real estate community, right? You probably have some friends, the showing service like has a connection, right? There's all of these pieces, but do you know who they are? Do you know who these people are and do you know how they're going to represent you and your clients? Um, so what we've done is we've put together a collection of agents inside of the office who are willing to show properties um, um, who have an understanding of what that looks like and who you can know and trust because they are colleagues with you in your office. They're not going to poach your business. They're, they're not going to misrepresent you. They're going to show up on time, dress professionally, right? Exactly how you would, how you would show up for their clients. They're going to show up for yours. So you can connect with agents there. 
And if you want to um, be able to, um, and you have the, the time to do it, um, you can add yourself to that list. There's a link on the top. It walks through a questionnaire um, of, of a few different kind of barriers to entry to get on that list to make sure um, um, that we're, we're representing our agent population really well. So kwpmneeds.com. Um, when we get together next time, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into some of our different tools and segments, but you'll see them here, right? Keller Mortgage, Keller Offered, Keller Covered, um, Homeward. We've got um, 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 our, our luxury community, commercial, and a handful of others that aren't on here. We've got our military community, sports and entertainment. We've got um, um, referrals and relocation. We have got a community for agents, no matter how they do business. And we're going to dive into that next month when we take a look further at some of um, some of those value pieces. Okay, um, questions on how to connect to those resources, um, um, either all of those files that you might need. There's a ton of good stuff in there. Amy, what's all in the resources folder? Oh my gosh, um, lots. There's, um, like you mentioned, W9s, um, all the Ignite materials will be in there. Um, let me pull it up because I just don't remember. Um, there's 66 day challenge stuff from uh, Marty Miller. There's resources for career night. Um, the contract classes materials, all of Donna's sample contracts are in there. Um, Damian Cox has forms. There's the DTD2 uh, list. There's RE Colorado and MLS um, resources in there. There's checklists for your opportunities and command. So um, for those of you who wanna set up those checklists, there's ideas in here. There's uh, scripts, tons and tons of scripts are in here. So, I mean, I just add stuff to it as, as I find it, as I go through and come across different things and I just throw them into the resources folder so that they're available to everybody. I love that. Really easy to access. So, so all of that is, um, um, it's searchable too, right? Because it's it KWPM resources takes you to a Google Drive file, um, and so you can actually type up on the top like what you're looking for, um, like W nine, and it's just going to take you right to it. So, makes it super easy. Um, One important thing that I'll mention about the resources folder is that um, I get asked a lot for our logos and they are in here. Um, and you'll find things like that that are very um, office specific under the KWPM assets folder. So that's where you're gonna find our logos and stuff. So you don't have to wait till we get back into the office if you need something you know, to finish whatever project you're working on. Love that, love that. Easy button, right? That's super cool. Um, Check out some of these office benefits too. Um, our events fund, hot dog. Every time we've only got like 30 agents participating in one of our events, I'm like, oh my gosh, what are the others doing, right? You're sleeping on this opportunity. But since I, I know it's you guys who show up for the events, let's talk about them really quick. Um, we host... Um, through our events committee, two different types of events for you on an ongoing basis. Um, and so we'll, we'll talk about the differences between them. This is included already in your monthly office bill, a certain allotment of, of, um, of spots for these events, depending on what the event is. So um, some of these are large scale client appreciation events. A client appreciation event is an event that you hold to say, thank you to your clients. So it's usually an opportunity for us to come from contribution and to give back to our people, right? Some great examples of these events is um, we've Santa come in December, right? So that your, your people, your um, friends and family and sphere of influence and clients and past clients and prospective clients and anyone you want to invite um, can skip the mall lines and, you know, bring the kiddos or the, the fur babies to visit Santa and get a picture 
Um, um, and it, and so it's a it's a really nice kind of smaller feeling gathering, um, but it's a great way to connect with your people and show appreciation, gratitude, right? Our Halloween event, uh, that's, that is hands down the best event that we hold every single year. Invite your people and show up, but if you really want to be a part of the, the good time, then um, decorate an office space, participate in our office decorating and our costume contests. Um, they, the winners are um, chosen by the um, guests who walk through. Um, um, and so we give away free office bills and a variety of other prizes. Um, for those of you who go all out um, for this, we turn the office into a trick or treat street. Um, and then the events committee actually um, um, goes, goes and gets entertainers and face painters and photographers and the whole nine yards. It is a really, really well done event. Um, um, and it's a blast. Um, every single Halloween event, every single event, I'm talking to agents as we go, as I you know, as I am doing my rounds and they're like, oh, I just picked up a piece of business. Oh, these guys just came through and they bought their neighbors and they want to buy. Or, oh, these guys are thinking about getting ready to sell every single time. It's amazing. All you have to do is show up and have fun. Um, um, so we've got a variety of large scale client appreciation events. For instance, we've got the shredder truck coming uh, Saturday after next. So um, make sure I know Gwen, you've already invited me. I'm your guest for the shredder event. Um, and I nice. love this invitation nice. because I can see what you're, I know you're doing it. It's super cool. Add me to your command. That's, that is all good. Um, um, I, I love it. So um, make sure that you're utilizing these. Um, and you can find lots of details on that on the Facebook page. So join our private Facebook group if you haven't another huge piece of value there um, and take advantage of these events. The others are um, small scale events. And that's, that's kind of the way I think about them, large scale and small scale events. These small scale events show up as like pop buys. Um, if you're not familiar with a pop buy, it's literally where you take a um, um, small item of value or token of gratitude, and you pop by somebody's home or business with it. So it's a pop by. Um, pop buys are a wonderful way to just get face to face with somebody and have that five minute conversation about whatever it is you're going to have that conversation about. It's probably going to be real estate related because there's a big KW on that pop by, right? Or your your logo or whatever it is. Um, and these are all all done and put together by the client appreciation. Uh, committee or the client events committee, which is a phenomenal group in the market center. If you're not a part of that committee, you should be. Um, did you guys know we carry your E and O insurance for you? You probably knew this. It's been a it, it's been a big conversation over the last few months. Our coverage is um, um, far exceeds the requirements by um, the state of Colorado and the Division of Real Estate. And the reason for that is we are doing real estate that far exceeds. Um, um, the bare minimum, right? And so we want to make sure that you're covered regardless of what happens. So um, we have upped our, our policy. We've got a million dollar policy. We've included cyber coverage, which our greatest exposure to risk right now is through our email accounts, right? It's a big deal. Um, we keep an attorney on retainer. Um, we also have health benefits available for everybody in the market center. Um, um, now, here's, here's something important to note. These are paid out of pocket by the agent, yet we have three different options for you to explore um, reduced cost health coverage. Um, um, there is a marketplace through Keller Williams, a stride marketplace. This is a traditional insurance marketplace where you can find discount insurance products on the open market. So you have a variety of choices. Um, recently, um, KW Perks launched. This is actually a group policy through Keller Williams. So you can get discount corporate style health insurance. You can go to kwperks.com starting on May 1st. The website is currently under some maintenance, but kwperks.com is the, the URL for that, kwperks. Um, but we have also partnered with a private 
um, insurance broker in, in the office, a health coverage broker might be a better way to say it, um, in the office. And, and they've created some, um, some unconventional um, insurance products that are geared specifically towards um, independent contractors, self-employed persons that include things like health shares and subscription-based health coverage. So definitely some things to look forward to or to look into. And if you need more information on any of those, I bet you can go to resources. Yeah, all right, I'm catching on. Um, hey, did you know that there are some, um, that there are some, uh, financial and tax benefits to being a real estate agent who holds real estate investments? I'm going to let that just sit for a minute. If you didn't know, and you want to learn more about that, um, our OP, our owner, of this office is an avid real estate investor, and he is very passionate about this. He's also a national real estate trainer and coach. So he pairs those two together um, and is one week into his five week series on how you too can grow your real estate investment portfolio. So that is here at our office on Fridays from four to 6 p.m. It is designed for you to come with a spouse, significant other, your investment partner, whoever that is, so that they can hear the same message that you're hearing. And as you're on your journey of, of increasing your own investment portfolio, um, um, we can connect you for coaching inside of the market center as well so that you can, you can get the right uh, strategic advice to be able to move forward um, um, and, and build out your um, investment plan. Um, um, KW Cares, I really quick want to touch on KW Cares and KW Park Meadows Cares. KW Cares is the um, um, safety net that we have in place um, through Keller Williams. It is designed for those who have experienced a catastrophic life, life event that's caused some sort of financial hardship. And so it's a grant program that's available. And we have that local version as well, which is the KW Park Meadows Cares Grant Program. I would highly encourage at every single closing that you're making a, a donation, a tax deductible donation to KW Cares. You can do it right there on the commissions tab, as well as a unfortunately not tax deductible contribution to our KW Park Meadows Cares Fund. Um, um, we, we are able to use that um, in, in a way that moves forward with a lot less red tape in a discretionary manner to help care for our agents in need. Um, and then don't forget that we're here and the office is available for you 24-7. Um, this is um, I would say right now, one of our most underutilized resources, not only do we have private office space available, um, but we also have drop in and workroom space available. So you can work from the office for free anytime you want to, um, be a part of the conversation, especially starting next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday mornings in the office, we are going to be doing some uh, group lead generation activities. Um, um, and it's always better together. So we invite you to, um, to start coming in. Um, um, if you would like the opportunity to be coming into the office more, but you feel like you might need a um, 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 private or more private workspace, talk to us, talk to Bonnie or Amy when you come in and we can make some arrangements for that as well. We want you in the office, but we also have the conference rooms available for you to meet buyers and sellers 24 seven. And the training room is also available. You can, um, you can rent that out at no cost, reserve that at no cost for buyer or seller seminars to host events, to have baby showers, like do whatever you want to do here, right? Um, um, all of those things have happened before, but do something that builds your real estate business. Um, um, let's see, we covered, we covered a handful of things here. Amy, really quickly before, before we wrap this up and start talking about uh, the coaching program, what did I miss? Um, so the only thing I would add, and I, I did put it in the chat, is that your um, part of your office bill goes for goes to the events fund, the ALC events fund. So I just want to make sure that everybody understands that um, 
to participate in these and to invite your people, your sphere to any of the large scale events. There's no additional cost to you. It is, you know, it's just part of being of our, being in our office. And, and so that, that was the only thing I wanted to add. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for that. And 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 we um we've heard that from time to time, like, oh, I don't know how to participate in this, or I don't know if I can afford it. It's, you know, uh, but it's already included. It's already taken care of. All you need to do is invite your people and show up. And most of the communications, uh, you know, Gwen is amazing about sending out communications for this, but we also make sure it's posted on our Facebook page. So, you know, as much as we have the resources and needs, don't forget about the, our, our Facebook page. Oftentimes, that's the first place you can go to get information. And if you have questions about anything in particular, you have a whole community there that's willing to help you and answer. So please, please, please. If you're not part of it, join it. And if you are part of it, jump in and, and start a conversation. Awesome. Hey, Amy, um, let's wrap up the team meeting. We're going to start talking yes. about uh, our productivity community here. Um, will you do me a favor and um, stop the team meeting recording and yep. then start recording again? Yep. Um, so that way we're going to send uh, this recording um, um, about the productivity coaching um, community. We're going to send that out to everybody. 